Welcome to Becoming a Writer podcast, a space where we write freely, write fearlessly, and write forever. I am Rubina Gauri Gomes, and as your writer friend, I want to give you the love, support, and encouragement to realize, become, and stay a writer for life. You can find more about our conversations and your free writer's mental toolbox PDF at rubinagomes.substack.com. Now please grab a cup of your favorite drink and let's have a quick chat. Hello my writer friends, Rubina here. For our 17th conversation, we are going to talk about why comparison is the thief of your writing joy. Some years back, I came across a news article. It was about a 13-year-old girl who published her first novel. During this phase of my life, I was self-critical. So, immediately my brain went into hyper mode and I started an avalanche of negative self-talk. This 13-year-old girl wrote and published her novel while being in school. And here I am, a 22-year-old English major graduate who is on a gap year to try her hand at writing novel and I haven't even written a word. What the hell am I doing with my life? I remember spending the whole day with furrowed eyebrows, a gloomy head and a heavy heart. Least to say, I didn't do any writing that day. Years later, I admitted how silly it was of me to compare myself to this girl. I don't know the circumstances in which this girl found herself, which helped her write her book. I, at 13, was tackling year 7 of a family financial crunch, a cranky grandmother, no friends and a reproductive system that simply didn't want to function properly. I had my hands and my mind full. She is running a completely different race than I am. Her reasons and influences for becoming a writer will be completely different from mine. There was no point of base for comparison or competition and yet I wasted my day and mood just doing that. But why do we fall into this trap of comparison? Because that's the lens we have seen the world through since childhood. As children, we are compared to our classmates' marks and performance. Competitions set us against our own friends. And then we are judged as to who's the fastest, who's the smartest, who's the best. The ones who came first are always favoured by all. The classmates, the teachers, the staff members. So to be recognised and appreciated, We had to be good at something. Not only good, but the first one and the best one. Why do we compare ourselves to others? Because we want to survive. We compare ourselves to others to understand where we are on the hierarchy of human life. We need to know this as it will let us know how accepted we are by our fellow humans. Being accepted means being part of the pack. Being part of the pack means you will not be eaten by the tiger. You are safe. But once on a creative journey, we stop being part of any comparison race. The life of a creative is about the creative act itself. As a writer, you are seeing life from a different perspective. To be able to do that, you have to unlearn how you were taught to see the world and then learn how to see it in your own unique way. And since you will have a unique way of looking at things, people and situations, there is no way to compare you with anyone. You will stall yourself even before you start if you compare yourself to others. Not comparing yourself to others is not an easy task to do. When you have spent all your life measuring your worth compared to others, it's not easy to just give up that line of thought. It is not easy to be who you are and be okay with it when all your life you have been told to be, behave, score, earn, work and live like someone else. It is not easy to live in a world that society prescribed and you flow in a different direction. But that's what creative pursuits like writing teach us and gift us with, that there are different ways one can live their life. We don't need to always stand against someone to succeed and survive. That life is not about comparison, but about living your life and your dream as much as possible. Know this, no one is ahead of you and you are not behind. Everyone, including you, is exactly where you're supposed to be. The day I accepted this fact, I freed myself from unnecessary worry and negativity. I now know that everyone is doing their best with whatever they have. And everyone will reap their benefits when they are destined to. Now when I see someone accomplish a writing goal, 
I celebrate them and encourage them more. And I use the success of my peers as motivation to boost my relationship with my writing. I don't care anymore who is doing better than me. I only care if I am doing better than I was doing previously. Well, that's it for today. Next time we meet, we'll talk about how having faith can move your writing mountains. Until then, keep writing my friend. Thank you for catching up with me today. I hope you found some inspiration that could help you write freely, write fearlessly and write forever. You can listen to our previous conversations at rubinagomes.substack.com. There you'll also get access to my other essays published every Wednesday and your free writer's mental toolbox PDF to help you enjoy every writing session. You can also find me on Instagram at becoming.writer. See you later.